Manchester City versus Wolves United in the Premier League games on Saturday. It will be all exciting for Manchester City and Wolves fans in the Etihad Stadium because they are going to have an open game. An open game which means that both clubs are determined to win this game and both clubs can be able to win this game. Given the circumstances that Manchester City were able to lose an away Champions League game against RB Leipzig, two goals to one. So Wolves United will be having it at the back of their mind that if they are able to push harder in the Etihad Stadium, will get them a win and three points they deserve. We all saw Wolves' side against Liverpool was a bit of luck. They would have gained a point against Liverpool in their home yard. But the late goal from Origi of Liverpool made Wolves United to lose three points in this game. Now we all know City is a, a they have all it takes to win this game moving forward. But the problem is inconsistency. They are not consistent in what Ever they are doing they are not consistent in winning games they are not consistent in gaining three points always but this point we know what pep Guardiola can bring to city side because pep Guardiola is a coach who always know how to gain points at this stage of the competition and last season the same thing happened poor performance in the uh during the beginning of the premier league and then later on came back to the game and win the title and now they are defending it and the same thing happened this season is this something that we are looking forward to see them lifting the trophy or liverpool teams like liverpool and chelsea will bring them back to the maybe third place or second place of the league table by the end of the season now kevin de bruyne is back in the squad because he's one of the most talented players city have and right now, because of the uh, because of the squad, because of the nature of the squad, because of the talent they possess, Pep Guardiola personally said De Bruyne now needs to fight po for position. He is not longer he is no longer hundred percent guaranteed to be starting every match because they have players in their up front like uh, Foden, uh, Grealish, maybe. Um, uh, Sterling who has been carrying them this season and also they have Mahrez, they have uh, Bernardo Silva, they have Gundogan a cap who is a captain currently and all these players are very good and very talented players and very and very useful in different ways. Wow what a team City is having now. Any of them can play for strike for as default striker any of them can play as midfielder or and the creativity they are having is so much now gabriel G jesus would have been the player to carry city these days but then his inconsistency is allowing him to be on bench because he is the only striker city is having currently aside from the um torres from Spain who had injury since then and has not yet recovered. Now this problem of City is allowing Jesus to be competing in the right wing with Mahrez, Bernardo Silva and the rest. Right now City just need a striker who will carry their team among them. Is this something that they will be looking forward to get this transfer window? Will Harry Kane go back over there given the circumstances that he is yet to pick his form since the beginning of the season but the real issue here is he's been doing it for his country but the club is the problem what's really happening in tottenham will city still agree to pay such amount for hurricane we know wolf side to be the defensive kind of play and also counter-attacking their opponent if you are going to play defensive game against city beware that your they will they by all means create sports areas to get a goal but team like wolves always their counter is very dangerous with the caliber of players like like triore triore who is very phenomenal in counter attacking against their opponent we see their last game their last wolves have been able to win just one of their last five games and city have been able to lo lose only one 
of their last five games and these two clubs meeting wow is something that you need to watch because their last five games shows that both clubs won two two and drew one now going into this game all of them are determined to win this game for their club and Wolves desperately need a win to stay in the Premier League and they wouldn't want to to jeopardize that against City. Rodri is doing very well and the, the problem of Pep Guardiola's side is just the defending. When the midfield are not able to give a compact support to the defense, we see them committing a lot of little little mistakes and that's determined their inconsistency in this season's uh, competitions. Now, Rodri has been the shield of the midfield to defense since uh, last season because the likes of uh, Fabino is now aging and he might not be getting all the playing time he needed. Since Laporte got back from injury, we saw that the defense has been solid and very good. So since Laporte, Pe and Ruben Diaz has been very good for Pep Guardiola and right now they just need a striker who will be finishing up the games for them but beware that this pair will be very difficult to contain Traore. This match is going to be a definitely win for Manchester City but there can be surprises since, since Bruno Lach is determined to keep Wolves in the Premier League. We'll be, we'll be looking forward to gain a point against Pep Guardiola City. So let's get our head straight and let's watch this game because it's going to be exciting. If you are new to the channel, thank you for watching. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell. You will be the first person to watch a video whenever we post.